Hi, I'm Sean Smith. This is uh, Sean Smith Photos, where I edit street photography and occasional travel photos in On One Photo Raw. So today, I'm going to edit some travel photos. And uh, so these are a few shots that I took when me and my wife traveled into the United States back in October. We went to uh, what was it? Uh, Watkins Glen State Park, which was uh, really nice. And while we were there, I took a few shots. Uh, two other shots that I took with my lens ball. This the lens ball is a lot of fun. It's a cheap accessory, a little bit heavy. Cost cost me about twenty Canadian dollars on Amazon uh, a few years ago. You just carry it in your bag, and you can get some unique shots. Warning though. If you're out in full daylight, do not hold it in your hand. It acts like a magnifying glass and you will burn your hand. So you'll want something to stand it on. And you can see here, I got this little rubber gasket kind of thing. I picked this up at the dollar store, uh, a pack of them, and they're just sitting in my bag. And anytime I want to put the ball down, I rest it on that. So that's what I'm, I'm done there. Before we get started, I'd like to say that uh, if you are planning on buying on one or one of the plugins or updating your software, check the show notes for a link and a discount code. Using the code saves you money and helps me out so that I can continue uh, making videos like this. Let's get to it. All right, so I'm going to do a full edit. So uh, let's check the camera profiles and see what they give us. So landscape, standard, portrait. Well, portrait really um, makes it a little bit flat, but really lightens everything up. Uh, vivid, neutral, camera portrait, camera standard, camera vivid. I think I'm going to go with on one landscape. Uh, since this is kind of a landscape, that makes sense, right? And then we'll hit AI match. Oh, things got kind of crunchy. Uh, let's go to AI auto. No, no AI match. Mm, kind of feel like this is a little bit too crunchy. Let's pull back on the contrast. Pull back on the highlights. I want some more shadows. So it looks like we're doing more of a manual thing here. Pull up on the blacks a little bit. And drop the haze. Yeah, okay, so this has a lot of texture on it. All those layered rocks and everything. Okay. So that looks pretty good. Let's check our levels. Uh, so we got a little, looks like we got a little bit of clipping. I'll hit the J key. And I'm not seeing any. All right, so it's nice and tight up in the shadows though. And let's use the nav and we're gonna fit it to 100%. And then we're gonna check no noise because we got a lot of shadow. And noise and sharpening, no noise. See if we can reduce the noise, wait for it to run. Look at that. These rocks are a lot better. His jacket was all uh, noisy, or her jacket, it's not noisy anymore. Yeah, let's uh, zoom in a little bit more. Yeah, much, much better. Uh, let's check down here. Yeah, look at that. Let's reduce the micro sharpening just a little bit. That water should be a little smoother. I don't think that's such a big deal though, because once we fit, that's really tiny. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna apply that. And here we go. All right, so let's hop over into effects. 
And what I want to do is, uh, there's a whole bunch of moss uh, along the wall and the canyon walls and things like that. So I want to kind of enhance the green and make it feel much more verdant. So let's uh, grab a color enhancer. And we'll hit foliage. And that made a big difference right off the bat. I'm going to turn this off and on. And yeah, it's it's a much more green and forest-like. Oops. Uh, let's go into the colors. We'll hit the greens. Saturation is up. I'm going to darken this. I'll put that back where it was. Let's shift the, the hue a little bit more to the yellow. Hit the yellows. Saturate those a little bit. Brighten those up. And let's overall up the vibrance. Okay, so yeah, look at that. That is really nice. On, off, although I think up here, this is looking, the yellows are a little bit too bright. So I'm going to go back, I'm going to pull back on the saturation on the yellows and drop their brightness. And let's take a look at that again. Mm. Okay, so I'm, I think I'm happy with that. And let's go um, back to develop for a second and check where the shadow slider is. It's up 14. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to drop the shadows just a little bit. And then I'm going to use a filter to bring up the shadows along here. So I want my global shadows to be kind of dark and I'll lighten up the people here in an effect. So let's go to, so I have two options. I could just use a local adjustment and brush it in, or I can use a tone enhancer. Uh, I, I tend to lean towards using filters over local. I, I don't think there's an advantage either way. So let's try the tone enhancer and start off with shadows lighter and we'll turn this on and off and we can see the people are much easier to see they're more noticeable and i'm going to go into here mask ai and people apply invert okay and Let's control M to view the mask and we'll get our brush and we're going to paint in and let's set the opacity to about 60. Nice big brush and make sure that the feather is at 100 and you can control your brush size with the square bracket keys up and down and then the feather shift square bracket key up and down and I'm just draw nicely along here like this for a second let's make this a little bit bigger like that and control M maybe one more time and we can yeah so we've drawn a little bit of light here I think this is looking okay. Now, up here, I've got some really soft light coming here. So I think what I want to do is add some sunbeams. And we'll probably want to add in a little bit of a sunshine filter. Oh, excuse me. And I see if I can just get that sunshine filter to fill up on this side of the image. So let's grab... Uh, sunshine first and we'll go with glow and we'll get a 
gradient, drop the gradient in here like this. There we go. Yeah, that's that did a nice job of brightening this up, and it even brightened up this stuff up here. So next, let's go take a look at a sun flare. See what kind of flares that we we have. Um, bright bokeh, uh, subtle bokeh, uh, sun flare down, sun flare left. Yeah, actually we want the sun flare down and we're going to position it afterwards, but let's just choose a good one. I think this one is good. This is number eight. Yeah, let's go with number eight. And I'm going to have to answer this. All right, so I forget where I was because I just got a phone call. Uh, we're jumping back in. Uh, yes, it was the, the Sunflower. So I said, yes, I like this uh, number eight. And it's got these nice little beams coming down. So what I want to do is move the Sunflower. And I can do that by clicking this little crosshair and then click and drag in the photo. So I'm going to do it like right about here. Now there's a whole bunch of stuff coming off on this side and I don't really want it there. So I'll probably mask that out. And then we can increase the amount of sunshine. I'm going to just put that back to the def default. I'm going to make this one really warm, saturate it, and let's, this, let's see what the scale does for us. Nah. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the masking brush and I'm just going to set my opacity back to 100 and we might undo and redo that afterwards. Oh, this is set to paint in, so let's paint out. Yeah, okay, so that is much, much better. We've got the light directionally pointing right here and we got this back in the shadows. And let's see what other options we have here. Um, brightness. Oh, wait a second. Let's put this back to the default. Actually, I kind of like this. Back to default. I'm gonna. I am gonna increase the brightness a little bit, and I'm gonna increase the saturation. Oh, I like that. Okay, so yeah, that is looking good. Maybe let's reduce this. There we go. That's it's a little bit too intense. Wow, okay. Original. Yeah, okay, now I'm gonna turn off this. Original. Hmm. Yeah, I maybe drop that back just a little bit. Okay, there we go. I think this is looking really good, really good, really good, really, really, really good. I'm I like it a lot. Uh what el oh what about some Maybe we'll do some color grading. I'm not sure. Um, so there's a couple of different options we could do here. We could grab a LUT. And let's take a look at the LUTs that are available. And so when you open up your LUTs, you've got four categories, uh, black and white, 
uh, color grading, color pop, and vintage. I'm going to go to color grading, and then I'm going to take a look. We've got a whole bunch of different options, so let's cycle through them and see what it does. Uh, looks a little bit strong. We can always pull back on the opacity. Thoreau. Let's try Thoreau. Okay, so Thoreau, and we'll turn this on and off. It's kind of subtle. We can see some shifting in the shadows over here. And then I'm going to go down and look at the options here, contrast and saturation. I'm actually not going to change any of that, but I'm going to pull back to about half. Yeah, uh, maybe up a little bit more. All right, so that's really quick and dirty color break grading. What we could alternatively do for color grading is I could turn this off and I could pick the uh, split tone. And I could be more specific about what I want here. So I've got uh, some preset options. Uh, so it starts off with cool, oats, ocean, teal, warm, uh, blue, yellow. Mm, I'm going go to go with warm. And then here we can adjust things as we want. So that is ridiculous. We'll just put it back to the default. And we could change this hue so it's more of a yellow if I wanted it like that. And then I can go into the shadows and maybe I'm going to just, I'm not going to have any shift at all or just a, a tiny bit in the shadows, just a little bit, maybe a little bit more blue. And we could shift the balance around. And I'm going to turn this on and off, on and off, and then Actually, I kind of like the uh, the split tone one that I just did a little bit more than what I got out of the LUT. Why don't you let me know which one you prefer out of the LUT or the split tone? So here's the LUT and here's the split tone. One other thing, I would love to hear from you if you have specific types of content that you would like me to create for you. Uh, just leave a comment below or thank you for watching. Hope you have a great weekend.